迎回来，周老师的快乐学中文。今天是第一课 ，Lesson One。我有一个大家庭 ，I have a big family。开始喽 ！I saw Wang Daming in a park the other day. He and his family were having a picnic. It seems that he has a big family. There are more than twenty persons there. So I asked him, Wang Daming, 你家有多少人？家 family 有 have 人 person 多少 how many? He said, 我家有很多人。There are a lot of person in our family. 很多 many. 我要算算看。I have to count. 算。Count. 我家有爷爷 grandfather， 奶奶 grandmother， 爸爸 father， 妈妈 mother， 哥哥 brother brother。Good job， 姐姐 elder sister， 弟弟 younger brother。Younger brother， that's right。妹妹 younger sister。So how many are there？ 一二三四五六七。He said， 总共八个人。Totally eight persons. 总共 means total. 不对哦 It doesn't sound right. 不对 wrong. Oh means nothing here. It's just soften the tone. 你少算了你自己 You miss counting yourself. 少 means less. 算 means count. 自己 means self. Plus 你 yourself. 你自己啊， ah, 对了哦、oh, ，That's right. 我少算了我自己。I miss counting myself. 总共九个人。There are nine person in his family. Now let's practice together. 让我们一起来练习哦。王大明，你家有多少人？我家有很多人。我要算算看，我家有爷爷、奶奶、爸爸、妈妈、哥哥、姐姐、弟弟、妹妹，总共八个人。不对哟，你少算了你自己。啊，对了。我少算了我自己，总共九个人。Good job for the extended family. He got uncle from his father's side. For uncle who is older than his father, we say 伯伯 For the younger ones, we say 叔叔 For auntie from father's side, we say 姑姑 Except the oldest one, we say 大姑 For the youngest, we say 小姑 And for the rest of them, we can just count them by numbers. And the second one will be 二姑 What about the third one? 三姑 That's right. Good job. 三姑 In the conversation earlier, we mentioned that grandparents from father's side. Are 爷爷 grandfather, 奶奶 grandmother, and what about mother's side? Grandfather from mother's side, we say 外公 For grandmother from mother's side, we say 外婆 Uncle from mother's side, we say 舅舅 Just like 大姑小姑 you will say. 大舅 for the oldest one. For the second one, we say 二舅 That's right, 二舅 Good job. But what about auntie from mother's side? We say 阿姨 Same as 姑姑 or 舅舅 The oldest 阿姨 we say 大阿姨 The youngest 小阿姨 and the rest will be called by numbers. What if you have fourth one? 四阿姨 That's right. 四阿姨 Did you notice that most of the Chinese words look like a square? 
They are the combination of different types of strokes. We usually start the strokes from left to right and from top to bottom. Starting from level two, we will learn how to write some easy Chinese characters. We will start from this one. E, E, left to right. One line only. And try to keep the line straight. Again, E, E means one. First or unique. For example, 一个人 means one person. 星期一 means Monday. One more time. E left to right. Great. Please practice more until you remember it. Thanks for watching. Back hello. 再见.